G'day everybody, welcome back. I've changed my schedule a little bit. I was going to release the photo, the last part of the photo stacking. I've had a bit of a recording issue where uh, it, the computer has decided to tune out Grant so we can't hear what he's saying. Uh, I usually do that myself but I didn't expect the computer to do it. So I'm going to have to re-record. Uh, there was actually a couple episodes we recorded so... I'm going to show something a little bit different. Grant takes us through another printing method. So we will continue on with that. And hopefully next week we'll have the end of the photo stacking. So bear with us and I hope you enjoy the episode. Yeah, hi folks. Um Welcome to another short edition of Photo Australia. Recently we looked at um, metal printing and Brad showed you that truly wonderful um, shot from uh, Monument Valley that he had printed on metal. And there's lots of different ways of printing. There's, oh, there's metallic papers, there's gloss, there's matte, there's canvases, there's even a metallic canvas that's quite spectacular your metals in mattes or high gloss finishes and there's this as well you've seen this in other places you see it a lot now this is and uh, this image is actually quite old this was printed maybe goodness probably how many years I've been down here for it's probably probably printed eight or nine years ago this this image so as you can see it's um, you know not a particularly enthralling image uh, looking at it there like that but it's printed on a special surface and if you want to do something different with your work you want me to turn the light on you want to throw that switch on brad yep mind the camera jarring there yep. had to get my stomach around <laughs> <laughs> okay so what we can do with this looking at it there and seeing what it's like okay yep but let's do this to it And I'm going to have to hold it like... That's all right, I'll move around. You're coming over here. Yep. So this is printed on a um, product that you see hanging up probably in the back of every McDonald's restaurant you've walked into <laughs> or yeah. fast food outlet. It's called backlit printing. And on a light box like this, that's what you get. So... That's without. Without. And light it up. <clears throat> and it really does make your work pop out. Now, sure, you need a light box and you need uh, equipment to, 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 to make it work. But if you're in a situation where you want to really make your, your work leap off the, off, up or <coughs> leap, up, leap up in presentation, then this is an option for you. We it's might have to mount a couple in the studio <coughs> sometime, well, Grant. This can actually be here. This I don't use this any anymore. Yep, so yep. Um, I'll take it home and make sure I've got the measurements right. And we'll think about a couple of the images. But as you can see, it's a matte side on that side, and it's a high gloss diffused film on that side. So yeah, so yep. It's a different product. It's not new tech te te uh, technology. It's actually quite old. You can even use it with natural light. Yep. You come across here now. You can see how that is already coming alive, just picking up the uh, natural it is. light. It is. Through, That's through actually the window. looking really good, actually. Yep. So, in the right room, the right lighting, the right image, even using natural light, you can get a lot out of this uh, type of stuff. So there you go. That's just another option in the wonderful mad world of printing yep and just showing we're pretty much getting our studio set up here now it's taken taken a long time grant but um it is um but it is looking good yeah it's getting there it's looking a bit better now so um yeah so just giving you just a quick quick little look at it yeah we've got our computer and everything set up there so um yeah with that we'll see you in the next video shall do bye bye folks <laughs>